welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope Taylor and I'm a senior portrait and wedding photographer based in Charleston, South Carolina. And this channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little peek living in my life in the low country. And today's video, I wanna talk specifically to my senior portrait photographers. I think this video is actually gonna be helpful no matter what you shoot as far as portraits go, because I think you'll be able to take pieces of this and apply it to whatever you shoot and whatever you specialize in. But before we dive in, I have a free gift for you down in the description and I I'm going to literally be talking through my senior style guide, which is my guide that I send all of my senior portrait clients upon booking to tell them everything they need to know about how to prep for their senior session, what to expect, what to wear, what hair and makeup artists to use. All of that information is in my senior style guide and I'm talking through five of the most important things to include, but my free copy is in the description below. So if you wanna pause the video and download that to follow along and then you can create your own based off of the design of mine, it's super, super Super valuable 100% free it's just my thank you for tuning in in the description down below like I said in today's video we're gonna dive into the five things that I include in my pre senior session style guide because I don't know if you guys are late let me know in the comments if you do but I used to get really frustrated with my portrait clients because they would come to their senior session unprepared they would be late they would just have on really plain outfits like maybe jeans and a white t-shirt their hair and makeup wasn't really done they didn't have lipstick on they just didn't look like they were ready for a senior session and then I didn't love my images as a result. And I knew my clients didn't love them as much as they could if they had been well prepared. But then I realized that that is actually my fault. That is completely on me as the photographer to prepare my clients for their portrait experience. They've likely never gotten professional photos taken before, especially if they're a high school senior. They really never had a reason to have professional photos before. So it's completely up to me to make sure they have every piece of information they need to feel prepared for their session and show up looking and feeling their best, which as as a result makes them like their images better, makes them feel amazing, and allows me to have a portfolio of images full of clients who are my ideal clients, who are dressed super cute and have the best outfits, which ultimately attracts more of my ideal clients down the road, right? It's like that cycle, but you can't start that cycle of having ideal clients if you don't prepare your existing clients well for their experience. So if you downloaded that free copy of the guide below, then you've probably already kind of done a quick scroll through and you've seen these things, but I wanna explain why the five things that I'm gonna to talk through today are so important to prepare and tell your senior leading up to the session. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you include, it's pretty common knowledge, but you want to make sure that you include local hair and makeup artist recommendations. This will heavily decrease how many emails you get leading up to people's sessions because this is the most popular question I get from my clients is who do you recommend for hair and makeup? So I include a list of local hair and makeup artists that I've worked with before that I know do an amazing job and are credible with my clients that I can share example images of and if you want to you could even network and partner with a local hair and makeup artist in your area to offer a discounted rate for your clients or some type of partnership where you do the makeup together on the day of the session there's so many different ways to do this but you just want to make sure that that's one of the first pieces of information your client can find after booking with you Number two is that if your client can't afford professional hair and makeup, it's just not in their budget or professional hair and makeup is just not something they're interested in. Maybe they're not somebody that wears a ton of makeup. Maybe they like the more natural look. You want to make sure that you give them some tips and tricks of things to do with their hair and makeup to make sure that it photographs well. Because as photographers, we know that typical hair and makeup doesn't photograph as well because it needs to be a little heavier to be portrayed well on camera. So I give quite a few tips and tricks for what to do if professional hair and makeup isn't in your budget or isn't something you're interested in. Things like wearing false lashes, things like doing a little bit of a heavier foundation than you typically do, things like wearing a lipstick color or even just a tinted chapstick and why that makes such a big difference in your images. Just a handful of little tips and tricks to help them be better prepared for their session. Number three is that you want to include outfit inspiration and a little bit of guidance on what to wear. This can be as much information or as little information as you want it to be, but you want to be sure that you give them a little bit of guidance on how to select their outfits because similar to hair and makeup, there are certain outfits and accessories and looks that photograph better and look better on camera versus what might look good in real life on a day-to-day -day basis. So I give my clients tons of tips and tricks for what to wear for their session. And I have an inspiration Pinterest board that I'm constantly pinning to from a personal perspective instead of just having like a fashion Pinterest board or a cute outfits Pinterest board for myself anytime I see clothes I like on Pinterest I pin them to my seniors what to wear board because I want my seniors to dress in a way that matches my style matches my aesthetic and matches their aesthetic of course but that photographs well looks good on camera and I just know that naturally as a photographer what's gonna look better on camera 
Number four, and this one is really, seems minor, but it makes a huge difference in photos if seniors don't know this, is to tell them what to do with their nails. I have a lot of seniors that will show up without a manicure or with a really bright manicure that's like chipped off or maybe they haven't had their nails done in a long time. And I, my style is that I do a lot of poses where their client's hands are by their face or like on their hips or their nails are visible. And you wanna be sure that they at least just know that you're gonna be able to see their nails in the photo. So even if they don't get a fresh manicure, maybe they just don't have any nail polish on and that a neutral or light color is best so that it doesn't conflict and contrast with any of their outfits or hair and makeup. And lastly, number five is you want to make sure you tell them a little bit about what to expect on the day of their session, including highlighting what happens if they're running late. I used to have a lot of clients that would run late because they just didn't understand because they aren't photographers that once the sun goes down as a natural light photographer, we have to stop shooting. So if they're 15, 20 or 30 minutes late, that cuts into their portrait session time. And I want to make sure that they fully understand that. So I talk about that in my contract to protect myself legally if a client is running late, but I also make sure I highlight that in my senior style guide so that they know that if they're running behind, I can't make the sun stay out longer. So they need to try to arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. And I walk through a little bit about what to expect on the day of, like that I'm gonna be posing them the whole time. They don't need to stress. I'll help them walk through their outfits and locations when they arrive, things like that. But you just wanna make sure that they have a little bit of an understanding of what to expect. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, if you wanna download my copy of my exact style guide that I send my clients, it's in the description down below as a free gift for you. But I would love Love to see you guys next week and I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can tune into my new videos every single week. But I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.